Hey guys, I'm Todd Bartusik with Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate and the All Metro Real Estate Group. Lifelong uh, District 66 resident, bringing you uh, another uh, market report for our District 66 homes. So what we saw in April, um, we saw our sales were up about 17%. So we went from 23 sales. This is the overall prices, uh, like the, the, the whole market. And I'm going to break the other markets or the other price points down next. So we saw... March 23, we had uh, 27 sales in April, so up about 17%. Now, here's where the numbers get fun if you're a seller. Um, the average sale in March was 4025. Uh, the average sale in April was almost 421,000, so up about 4.5%. And we went from days on market, average days on market in March from, from 11 down to 2. So what this is telling me, right, so that the demand is still there and fast demand. When you go from on average 11 days on market down to two, people are snatching up these houses. And one month, we're you know, increasing prices 4.5%. Um, a lot of demand. So if you're thinking about selling or you know someone that's been kind of on the fence about selling, um, do not listen to the mainstream media about the interest rates and things of that nature that we're going to go into a, uh, into a buyer's market, that the bottom's going to drop out, whatever. I mean, I've, I've heard it all. It's not true. Numbers don't lie, guys. So that's why I'm bringing you know you this service every month. So that's the overall market. So the next one is what I like to call the first time home buyer price point, and that is zero to three hundred thousand. So we actually had less sales. We went from fifteen in March down to eleven in April, um, and our sale price actually dropped. So we had an average list price in March of two thirty three five, with an average sale price of about two forty three four. So even right there, what you do see listing here, you're going to sell up here because we have multiple offers. But what we had was um, we had some lower priced homes get listed in April compared to March because our average list price in April was down about 10%. But it has nothing to do with the market being soft. It was just we had, we had lower priced homes in the district in, in that zero to 300 getting listed from um, uh, as it compared to March. Now, again, our days on market dropped. It went from five in March down to three in April. So again, a lot of demand, um, a lot of interest out there, and the homes are selling fast. Um, so that was the first time home buyer price point. The next price point is what I like to call the move up. That's three to 600. So here's where it really starts to move around. We had five sell in March for an average sale price of about 434.5 and an average days on market of 30 days, so a whole month. April, we had 13 sell in the 300 to 600 range. That's up 160%. Days on market, two. So we went from a whole month to two. Um, and our prices jumped up to about 445 and some change, so up almost 3%. So again, guys, the demand is there, the inventory is not. Um, but we're going to continue to see prices move. So even if you're a buyer, you need to be buying now to stack the equity, right? So buy now and every month we are seeing appreciation. We don't see any reason to think that there's going to be a dramatic change because it is an inventory situation. We, and this is a nationwide issue. It's not just Westside. It is not just Omaha. It's a nationwide situation. So now I'm going to talk about what I like to call the luxury market. That's anything $600,000 plus. So what we saw, March, we had three sales. April, we had three sales. Um, so we went from an average sale price of uh, just shy of $1.15 million in March to uh, $1,045,000 in April. So that luxury market actually dropped. But again, it's got nothing to do with the fact that prices are dropping. It's just we had some lesser priced homes, even in that luxury market, get listed. I mean, but either way, both of these uh, um, uh, months in the luxury market were over a million dollars. Okay. Now we went from seven days on market in March to zero in April. So those three houses all over a million dollars, um, all sold basically the very first day it hit the market. So whether it's first time home buyer price point, the move up or the luxury, serious demand, you guys, uh, the inventory remains low and will continue to remain low. Um, our inventory in Westside is even lower than the city. 
than the overall Omaha area. Um, so if I can be of any service or answer any questions, again, I'm a lifelong uh, resident of District 66. Uh, I'm here to answer questions, provide you uh, with the actual statistics because numbers don't lie, guys. If you like what you're seeing every month here, please remember to follow me on social media and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.